what I'd like to do is show you how to evaluate um, a logarithm. And this is a logarithm when uh, we have you know, divisions going on. Um, but one thing I noticed with this logarithm is you know, I kind of have this one, one and I'm not really too sure what to do. So I'm going to show you two different ways we can solve this problem. And hopefully one of them is going to work. One way I'm going to use division and the other way is I'm going to use multiplication. Now, um, a couple ways, a couple things we need to remember. One thing is any number as a denominator can always be written as your numerator. I can write it back up on the numerator and just put it as to the negative exponent. Okay? So what I can do for this problem, I'm going to do this two different ways. I'm going to first do this by actually changing my 5 to a negative uh, 5 to the negative first power. So I'm going to say ln of 1 times 5 to the negative first power. Then here I'm going to solve it as ln of 1 over 5. Now remember ln, we're going to have a base e, right? So that me, you know, that's going to be my uh, my base. So using our two formulas, our two properties, I'm sorry, for logarithms that state whenever I have a multiplication, I can expand a logarithm by use of addition into two separate logarithms. So I can rewrite this as log base, a log, I'm sorry, ln, not log. So I can rewrite this as ln of 1 plus, jeez, ln of 5 to the negative first power. And then here, you could also, whenever we're dealing with division, you could also write a division problem as a set of two multiple logarithms using subtraction. So I could write this one as ln of 1 minus, I'm horrible, ln of 5. So how are we going to get our answers? How are these going to be exactly the same? Because it seems like this one I'm doing multiplication, this one I'm doing division. How are they going to be the same? Well, there's a couple things we need to remember. Um, remember, whenever you have an exponent, you can put that exponent in front. And then there's another thing. Um, any logarithm, either natural or um, you know, regular logarithm, anything, any, whenever you're evaluating logarithm to 1, your answer is going to be 0. Because think about it this way. Log 3 of 9, that answer is 2. 3 raised to what number gives you 9? 2. Well, log 3 of 1 equals 0. 3 raised to what number gives you 1? Well, 3 to the 0 power is going to give you 1. So any logarithm evaluated for 1, no matter what the base is, is always going to give you 0. So here I can say ln of 1, e, right? We have this little e there. e raised to what number gives you 1? 0. Plus, I can bring my exponent in front. Right? Here, ln of 1 is 0 minus ln of 5. Okay? So here, all I have is a negative 1 times ln of 5. Well, I know that answer is just going to be a negative ln of 5. Here, it's a negative ln of 5. So that is just two different ways for you guys to evaluate a uh, logarithm when using uh, division.